Buck, what what's wrong, Buck? Oh man, Buck is always barking nowadays. Buck, what do you got out there? Do I see something? What the heck is what? Is that a you? What the heck? That is the weirdest. Oh my goodness! It's coming back. Get down. What the? What the heck is that? Babe, give me a shotgun. I'm, I'm chasing this thing. Oh man! I hear it over here. What the heck is going on? There it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. What the heck? What the heck is that thing? Get out of here. Weird lights. Man, I gotta check my herd, make sure there's no probing going on. <laughs> That's what she said. But let's get to it. Oh, man, I got like maybe two hours of sleep last night. So I, want, I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was a dream at first, but I am way too tired for that to be a dream. I have no idea what's going on, but I want to check the herd in the daylight, basically. I don't know what was going on around the farm here, but there was definitely something fishy. I want to make sure there isn't a dead cattle that is, uh cut up down here uh, yeah yeah I've seen them stories too I don't I I know it's weird I, I know I'm stupid for doing this but well, the good thing is I see no problems in the herd so so one of the primary reasons why I was up last night anyways is I was dreading having to go up having to pick up all of my little square hay bales. Uh, my back is not looking forward to that. Not one of my funnest... It's not something I seek out when I'm farming. But uh, if you see here, we have a whole field, get out of here birds, of hay bales here to pick up try to get through our little ravine one of these times I'm gonna get stuck going through here but we got these little turds laying everywhere all over the place but I am gonna throw a, a few back in the this truck I didn't get enough sleep to pick up these hay bales today let's just say that none enough sleep in the day to pick up all these hay bales definitely don't want these things rained on but I mean come on after two hours of sleep I don't think anybody's looking forward to stacking hay bales anybody that's ever done it in their lifetime all right we got all of our bales right there and I know you guys are probably tired of me driving this truck but uh I don't know this truck is just so cool I can't stop driving it. Every time I uh, get up in the morning, I'm like, why not? Let me drive this thing. It runs so good. It's got a carburetor on it. I just love how our carburetor sounds. I mean, listen to this thing. That is manly. I know it can get a little loud, especially if you're going on long trips. But let's just face the fact. This isn't going to go on long trips anymore in its lifetime, most likely. It's not reliable enough to do that. And it looks like I forgot to pick the bale out of the baler here. Got one more to pick up. Oh man, sweating already. It's early in the morning and already sweat. Last bale. Alright. Let you... And do you guys even want this? So Jim just called. So basically, uh, he purchased a piece of land. Uh, the land is was in CRP. 
So basically, it was government control to sit idle for so many years. Uh, it just came out of CRP, which is why the landowners decided to sell it. Jim is actually considering uh, basically converting it back to farmland. It is, let's just say, it's habitat. Let's just say that. So hunters love it. There will be a few hunters out there that just love this stuff. But while he was basically plotting the land and everything, he found in the tree groves and everything some equipment. So he was wondering if we would be interested in purchasing all of this. So you guys probably already know I did end up uh, purchasing I found this harvester basically shoved in the back of one of my old buildings of the piece of land I found. Uh, I just can't find the parts for this harvester. So I've been trying to, almost every single part I got to take to the machine shop. And that gets expensive. And it's not like I'm going to use this as a productive harvester. So I'm thinking... I'm going to shove it in the back of one of my barns and maybe one day get it running again. But right now, it's it's not working out for me. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just nostalgic. I just like the way it, farming used to be done. But to be honest, I have to make a living in farming. And you can't use that old equipment that was made 40 years ago. 30 years ago. You've got to use recent equipment to be efficient at farming, otherwise your neighbors are just going to swallow you up. I know, I know. I'm, I'm driving my other carburetor truck here, so you guys probably got tired of my old Chevy over there. I know I drive Chevys a lot, but just who I am. I like Fords. I'm not brand loyal. I did actually try to buy a Ford once, and all my neighbors tried giving me crap about it. To me, I, I don't know. I, I've been really thinking about chain or trading in the old GMC for a Ford. All right, this is actually right across the street from Starbucks. Man, that Starbucks is uh, really sounding good right now. I don't know. Might have to go over there and get some while I'm waiting. So Jim is supposed to actually meet us over here. So this is his plot of land. He actually recently acquired, as you can see, it was planted into brown grass. Yo, Jim, where the heck are you? Oh, I see him now. So finally. Surprised he isn't coming from uh, basically my cousin's house. Alright, let's see where he wants us to go here. Man, Jim, this has two fishing ponds in it? Oh man, so glad I get to fish. So glad I'm your friend so I get a fish in your pond. What? I can't fish in your pond? Oh, Jim, remember. You are dating my cousin. What, well, Jim? Wait till I get out of the truck before you drive away. Oh my goodness. Jim got a phone call from a cousin. Needs Starbucks. So he has to go drop her off some Starbucks. So uh, he had to go. I'm gonna finish looking at this uh, basically field. Jim says uh, he kind of plotted, so it's right over there. So you can kind of see the barn. So you can kind of just see the top of the barn. Here, we'll just drive over there quick. Where the heck did that barn go? You go down in the valley and you just lose the top of that just quickly. Huh. It's around here somewhere. I don't want to drive my truck too far in there because if you could tell, it's got a pretty good paint job. I know, I know, it looks good. See, oh, here we go. Whoa, is that a silver cedar? Oh, yeah. 
You know, I always love these old gleaners. Oh, man. I just, I don't know. There's something about them. I grew up around these, to be honest. A lot of them. Oh, it's L3, too. Uh, I believe this was the last of this series of gleaners. So I think they went to the R right after this. So rotary, if that makes sense. So they kind of really changed their lineup. This was a conventional harvester. Man. This... I mean, this would run laps around that International. I always liked the looks of these things. So they had, I know it looks weird, but the grain tank right there. So even the gleaners nowadays are kind of made this way with the auger spits out or uh, turns out more than it, it kind of rotates out, I should say. Well, I guess the other ones really rotate too, but this one kind of twists and turns out and has an old uh, turbo diesel on the back there and the gas tank. Man, cab is fairly clean. Uh, no power. Man, I would love to see this running in the field again. Hydrostatic? I think it is, yeah. Hmm. So this is a Transstar 2 cab over. Oh man, international too. Whoo! I kind of what is this orange? Fire orange? Definitely not international orange. Uh, how's the bed on it? Hmm. Got a wooden bed on it. Fairly good. Old beast. Will this thing all turn over? Uh, nope got a CV in it even. I just love the cab overs just because the way it feels when you're driving these. It just feels almost like you are on a motorcycle as close as you can in a cab that is. Uh, just because you're right there you know you can uh, basically if you didn't have a windshield you could reach out and you could touch the front of your uh, truck. Uh, man. man that is a really small cab but I think I think I really man that that would be nice on the farm. I it would be convenient, let's just say that. To have a, a good old cab over truck. We could use it for rocks, which you know we don't have to use our Kinworth. The worth of the farm to run the rocks around, we could use this for the dirtier work. And to I mean we could break it out during harvest if we need another truck. Maybe we might have to have it with the if we get that old L3 shined up to plant some wheat. I mean, harvest some wheat. Plant, harvest, what, whatever we'd be doing. Oh, what, what do we have here? Just talking about buying a Ford, and now I roll up on an old rusty Chevy. Now, this thing... I don't think this is worth pulling out of the wee row, so... Unless you're going to pull some parts off of it, rust, you just better walk away from it. And This thing looks like it's about ready to go back to earth. Yeah, and I don't want to disturb the rats and the mice that might, or raccoon that might be living in it. And I definitely don't want to disturb it when I uh, surprise them, so nope. Uh, I think this will just be nostalgic of the area. Got a old rundown farm place here. Foundation. Looks like this thing was probably burnt down. Uh, yeah, the roof. They had electricity running here at one point. Man. Found another harvester right there. Pick it up, go. What the heck? I thought that was real at first. That was creepy. Oh, what do we have? An old rusty uh, Model AA. You know, this just might be perfect for us. We could use this as a part. This would be awesome. It is full rust, 
full of nostalgia, but I would love to get this thing pulled out of here. I need, I'm need. i gonna need a semi of some sort. I don't know if I... Maybe I can go borrow one from old Jim. And then uh, we can work out a deal. So... I know Jim, he's gonna give me a good deal. I got a lot of dirt on him anyways, so... He wants to keep me happy so he can keep dating my cousin. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go up, see where Jim's at, hopefully grab his freight shaker, hook it up to the trailer flatbed, and uh, hopefully he won't be too mad if I uh, loan it for a little while. Alright, pull up here. What the heck is my wife's Bronco still doing up here? That's weird. Oh. Oh. I was I was a little heartbroken there for a little bit, but uh, I guess I, re I drove that up there. I guess I probably need to drive that back. Which trailer should we borrow of Jim? So our options are basically these two drop depth trailers. We got the wide one, so this one uh, pulls pretty well, but it's heavy and you can't really place a lot of things on the axles or above the ax the front axles of the semi hmm i don't know i would like to pull both at least a couple items at one time i think this one will be our best bet because this has the outriggers on it so we could basically stem them out we might be able to get the harvester an old international pulled up on here got the weeds in it. This trailer hooked up. Get over there. So now the difficult part is, is how the heck are we going to pull them in the woods? It's not like we're going to hook up to the trailer and drive up right next to them, come along them on the trailer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Washboards on this country roads are so bouncy. I'm just joking. I was just shaking the camera. This thing doesn't shake that bad. It is pretty bad though. All right, almost to our what would you find this? Uh, tree row find? Uh oh, uh oh. This might be a challenge getting up on this old. Don't know what the freight shaker has it in it. Let's do it. Let's try to get it up. Oh, 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 oh. That looks like it might do some damage to the trailer. All right, we got it. I'm a little bit ashamed I did go that way. All right, get some air in here. Open up this back window. There we go. Just love the smell of grass. I know, I'm weird. It's hopefully I can use this old Challenger. I've really been abusing Jim's Challenger. I probably should just buy it off of him. But I don't really have the money, so I'll... Why not just use it? Trying to push this harvester up this hill. Ugh. Wow, yeah. This is definitely a challenge. So I did get the head oh, man I can't even turn this thing did get the head blocked up I just jacked it up with hydraulic jacks come on old challenger you got it come on all right let's take this a step back let's see what we got got to get this thing on the trailer let's see I would really like Maybe I should get that truck over here. Or maybe I can get that uh, old harvester to lean all off the back here. Ooh, that's a dilemma. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just wishful thinking trying to pull them both away here, but I don't know. We're going to try it. All right. Yep, just got it done. So 
that was uh, definitely a venture. So I pulled it back up here and got it backed up. I think this is our best chance to get that uh, truck put on here. I don't know if I could use that footage because let's just say there was a lot of working words. Uh, working words are them four letter words that you always got smacked in the back of the head with. Don't think I should probably put them on a video. That That's... Let's just say when times get tough, farmers cuss. I'm pretty happy with that. Got it chained down. Now I just have to pull this old international out. Once again, pushing up the hill. Uh, a lot easier to push this thing. I'm hoping that uh, old uh, Gleaner doesn't have a seized uh, transmission or seized engine or something like that. That's not. This international is no problem for this old uh, Challenger. And I just love this thing. Yeah, you want to see something that's sketch? sketchy yeah that's a little sketchy good thing we don't have too many miles to drive Whew. yeah I, I definitely need to use every last chain I possibly have so I'm gonna put this down right here shut the door there we go shut this off hopefully I can get this old iron to running before harvest Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Sure not gonna like having to get this trailer out of here. Uh.